shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like the sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me, baby, I can't help me. Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Perks, back again with another GTA 5 online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the 5 pointed outfits on the screen and on the thumbnail after the latest patch 1.50. So if you guys do want to enjoy this video, please make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below. And also leave a like if you want to see more multiple modded outfit videos like this. But anyways, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have any clothes store and make sure you have the outfit on that you don't want to lose. Because we will be doing the transfer glitch which deletes all of your outfits. So have the outfit on that you don't want to lose and make sure you have last location on. So now once you have all of that on, you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online and you want to go over to swap character. So now you just want to wait until you load into the swap character menu. Now once you're in the swap character menu, you want to go to the second character. And you want to go ahead and press edit the second character. Now if it's a male for you, that's completely fine. You just want to go ahead and switch it over to female. Then you want to save it, copy all the rank, everything like that. You want to go ahead and say, press save and continue when it's a female. Then just load into GTA Online. So I'll see you guys once I load into GTA Online. So now once you guys are into GTA Online, you just want to go ahead and bring up your pause menu to check if you have any closed stores. So as you guys can see, I didn't have any closed stores, so if that happens to you, that's completely fine. You just want to go ahead and find a new session, and then once you learn to GTA Online. So I'll be back with you guys once I find a new session. So now once you guys load into GTA Online, you should see when you bring up your pause menu, you have the closed stores. So if you have that, then that's fine, you just want to make your way over to the closed stores. So you just want to go ahead and steal like a random street car and just make your way over to the closed store. You can go to any closed store, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to make my way over to this closed store here, so it's literally right next to me. So now once you're at the closed store, we're going to go ahead and get started on the first component outfit. So for the first step, you want to make your way over to the pants section. Now once you're in the pants section, you want to go down to utility pants. Then you want to go ahead and equip the black battle pants, which should be number 37. So you just want to go ahead and buy them. So now once you've bought them, you want to make your way over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you want to scroll down to tank tops. So now once you're at tank tops, you want to scroll down to number 61. So you just want to keep scrolling until you find number 61. Now once you found number 61, you just want to get, go ahead and buy it, it should be the Mokotorn Short Crop, you want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you bought that, you want to just back out and make your way over to the glove section. Now once you're the glove section, you want to go down to the gloves. I mean, once you're the accessory section, you want to go to gloves. You want to go to a white surgical gloves, which should be number 43, you want to go ahead and select them. So now I actually went to watch this here because I was trying to take off my accessories, but yeah, you want to make sure you take off all accessories, except from the gloves, obviously. So now once you have the gloves on, you want to go ahead and save the outfit. So this is the first outfit for the Red Tron outfit. We're going to be making one more component outfit for the Red Tron outfit. So you just want to go ahead and save this outfit to anything you want to. So now for the second outfit for the Red Tron, you want to go to the sports pants section and you go to spotted muscle pants. So now once you've equipped them, you want to make your way back over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you want to go down to work jackets. Then you want to go ahead and buy number 9, which would be the peach camo closed field jacket. You want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you've bought that, you want to back out. And now you want to go down to the top t-shirt section. Now once you're at the top t-shirt section, you want to go down to number 75. And you want to go ahead and equip that. It should be the blue digital t-shirt. So you want to go ahead and select that and then just go ahead and buy it. So now once you've bought that, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. Now you want to go over to boots, and you want to scroll down to number 21, which would be the Moss Tech boots. So as you can see the Moss Tech boots, number 21, you just want to go ahead and buy them. So now once you've bought them, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the glove section. So now once you've made your way over to the glove section, or the accessory section, I mean, sorry. You want to go to the accessory section, and then go down to gloves. Now once you're at gloves, you want to go down to number 4, which should be the Light Woodland Tactical Gloves. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. Now once you've equipped them, you want to go ahead and just save the outfit. 
So this is the second outfit for the Redtron outfit. So that's the Redtron outfit done. That's the first modded outfit in the video that you will be getting. So now moving on to the next outfit, which will be the Galaxy Checkerboard outfit. So you want to make your way over to the pants section. So this is the first outfit for the Galaxy Checkerboard outfit. So you want to go to jeans and you want to scroll down to number 38, which should be the black crop jeans. So you just want to keep scrolling until you find number 38. Then you just want to go ahead and equip them and just buy them, obviously. So now once you've bought these crap, um, these black crop jeans, you want to make your way over to the, um, the leather jackets. Or the leather bomber jackets, sorry. Now once you're the leather bomber jackets, you want to go down to the gold SN leather jacket, which should be number 6 on the list. So you just want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you've bought that, you want to go over to the shoe section. So now once you're at the shoe section, you're going to go to Deluxe Midnight Combat, which should be on the high heel boots, which is number 24. So now once you've equipped that, you can go ahead and save that outfit. That is the first outfit for the Galaxy Checkerboard outfit. So that is the, um, the first component, I mean, for the Galaxy Checkerboard outfit. There will be one more component we'll, which we will be making. So you just want to go ahead and save that outfit. Now once you save that outfit for the second component, you want to go to the sports pants section and you want to go and equip the spoiled muscle pants again. So now once you've equipped the spoiled muscle pants, you want to make your way back over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you want to go down to work jackets and you want to go down to the peach camo um, closed field jacket, which should be number 9 on the list. And you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that, you want to go back to the tuck t-shirt and you want to make sure you have the blue digital t-shirt equipped so if you don't you just want to go to number 75 and equip it so now once you have that equipped you can go ahead and save the outfit so that is the second component for the galaxy checkerboard outfit so now for the next outfit which is the checkerboard outfit of racing gloves first of all i'm just going to show you the two components for the checkerboard outfit the galaxy top so these are the two components you should have now moving on to the checkerboard outfit with the black racing gloves and the paramedic belt i'm going to go to the pants section and then you want to go over to jeans and scroll down to number 38 and equip the black crop jeans again. So now once you've equipped these black crop jeans, you want to make your way back over to the top section. Now once you're at the top section, you just want to go on suit jackets and equip no jacket to just take off the jacket. Now once you've taken off the jacket, you want to go over to bustiers and go to number 30, which should be the camo bustier. So you just want to go and uh, buy that. So now once you've bought that, you can go ahead and save the outfit. So this is the first component for the checkerboard outfit with the racing gloves and the paramedic belt. So now once you've saved that, for the second component, you're going to make your way over to the sports pants again. And equip the spoiled muscle pants. So now once you've equipped the spoiled muscle pants, you're going to make your way over to the top section again. Now once you're at the top section, you want to go over to the work jackets. And then you want to go down to number 9, which should be the peach camo field jacket. Which we equipped a minute ago, so you just want to go and equip it again. So now once you've equipped that, you want to go over to the tuck t-shirts. So now once you're at the tuck t-shirts, once again you want to go to number 75. Then you want to equip the blue digital t-shirt again. So now once you've equipped the blue digital t-shirt, this is this is optional, you don't have to do this next part, but this is for the checkerboard hat and the checkerboard glasses. So if you want these, then you want to make sure you copy what I do now. But if you don't, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So then for the checkable glasses, you want to go over to the casual glasses, go down to number 22, which should be the copper marbles, you want to go ahead and equip them, so you just want to go ahead and buy them. So now once you've bought them, to get the checkboard hat, you want to go over to the hat section. Now once you're at the hat section, you want to go down to canvas hats, go to number 78, which should be the grey plated canvas hat. So you just want to go ahead and buy that. So that is for the checkerboard hat and glasses. Now you can just go ahead and save this outfit. So those were the two, compo two components for the checkerboard outfit with the racing glass, sorry. So here are the two components here for the checkerboard outfit. So now for the next outfit, which is going to be the trash top with the black joggers. You want to take off the hat and glasses and then make it over to the top section. I accidentally went to the pants section here. You don't want to go to the pants section. Never mind, I didn't go to the pants section, sorry. So you want to go to the top section, go to the denim jacket and go to the distressed denim jacket which should be number 9 so now once you've equipped that you want to make your way over to the tuck t-shirts so I accidentally, I accidentally went the wrong way here, doesn't matter you just want to make your way over to the tuck t-shirts 
So now I want you to tuck t-shirts, you want to go down to number 11, which should be the black classic. So it might take a few seconds because you're at the top with the blue digital. So yeah, you just want to scroll down to number 11, which should be the black classic t-shirt. So you just want to go ahead and buy that. So now once you've bought that, you want to make your way over to the shoe section. Now once you're at the shoe section, you want to go over to boots. Now you just want to scroll down to number 31, which should be the chocolate slack boots. So now once you've got the chocolate slack boots, you just want to go ahead and save the outfit. So that's the first component for the trash top, the black joggers modded outfit. So you want to go ahead and save that outfit. Now for the second component for the trash top with the black joggers with the outfit. You want to make your way down to the party tank tops. Which should just be above the tank tops. And you want to equip the first one which should be the leopard loose tank. So you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that you want to back out. And then you, make, you want to make your way back up to the tactical jackets. So now once you're the tactical jackets. You want to make your way over to khaki tactical blossom. So you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you equip that, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So that is the second component for the trash top, the black joggers wanted outfit. So you just want to go ahead and save that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and show you, show you guys the two um, components for the trash top, the black joggers. So it's these two outfits here, should be outfit number 6 and outfit number 7. So now moving on to the last outfit, which is the red Gorka joggers but, um, outfit with the invisible body. This so will take three components. So for the first component, I accidentally went to the pants section there. You want to go to the top section. You want to scroll down to tank tops and go to number 61. So now once you've gone over to the tank tops, you want to go to number 61, which is the mocha torn crop. So you, should, you want to keep scrolling until you find number 61. So now once you're at 61, you should see the mocha torn short crop. You want to go ahead and select that. You should already have it bought from the, one of the previous outfits. So now once you've equipped that, you want to make your way over to the glove section. Or you can just bring up the interaction menu and change the gloves. So you want to go over to the glove section and you want to go down to number 43. Which should be the white surgical gloves. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, you want to back out of the accessory section. Now you want to go ahead and turn around and make your way over to the shoe section. Now once you've made your way over to the shoe section, you want to go over to the boots and then you want to scroll down to number 30 which should be the worn chocolate slack boots. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now once you've equipped them, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So that is the first outfit for the red Gorka joggers with the invisible body modded outfit. So now for the second component outfit for the red Gorka outfit, you want to go to the tactical jackets. So now once you're at tactical jackets, you want to go down to number 79, which will be the last um, jacket. And you want to go and equip it, it should be the khaki blossom. So now once you equip that, you want to go over to the bikini section. Now once you're at the bikini section, you want to go down to number 27, which should be the black bikini. So you just want to go ahead and equip that. So now once you've equipped that, you want to go ahead and bring up the interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and then just switch to the light wool and tactical gloves. So now once you've done that, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So that is the second component outfit for the Red Gorka Joggers outfit. So now moving on to the last component outfit for the Red Gorka Joggers, which is the last minute outfit. You want to go over to the Peach Camo Work Jacket, which should be number 9. So now once you equip that, you just want to make your way back over to the Tuck T-Shirt section. So once you're back at the Tuck T-Shirt section, you want to make your way back over to the Blue Digital T-Shirt, which is number 75. And you want to go ahead and just save that. Also, you want to go ahead and equip it and then sit, just save the outfit. So now once you equip that, you can just make it over to the front desk and then just save the outfit. So this is all of the component outfits done. So you should have these 11 outfits. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, save this and show you guys the outfits. So the first two are for the Red Tron outfit. The next two are for the checkerboard outfit with the galaxy top. And the next two are for the fully checkerboard outfit with the black racing gloves and the belt. And then the next outfit is the black the black um, joggers with the trash vest. And then the final outfit which is the red Gorka joggers with the invisible body. So that should be the last three components. So anyways, once you guys have all these components, you want to go and do the transfer glitch. So I'm going to show you how to do the transfer glitch. So the first step, you're going to bring up the interaction menu. Go to the take the easy way out. 
and you just want to go ahead and take the easy way out. So what this will do, this will force a game save to save all of the component outfits. So you just want to go ahead and to, um, wait until you load it back in. Now once you've loaded back in, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online, then you want to scroll down to creator, and then just wait until you load into creator. So now once you've loaded into creator, you want to go down to create a race. So now once you've gone to create a race, you want to go to the land race, and you just want to go ahead and select that. So now once you've selected that for the race details, you want to put the title, it's just like a bunch of letters, and same for description. Now for the photo, you can just take a random photo of the sky. And now for the next part, you want to make sure maximum place is on 2 and the route type is on point to point. And now just to speed it up, you can change the cars to supercar and then just select any car you want to. Now you want to back out, go to placement and place trigger. So now once you're on that, you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to the, uh, the airport and just press X or A to walk over to the airport. So now once you've done this, you want to place the trigger just around where I do. Now for the lobby camera, it can just be a random picture again. Now for the checkpoints, you want to roughly copy what I do, it doesn't have to be the exact same. But you want to make it around 0.75, so you just want to copy the checkpoints that I do here. So you want to place them along this runway here, just like I do. And as you can see, the race length is 0.71 and then 0.75. So if yours is like 0.72, 0.73, just between that, um, just between 0.75, then that should work. So now once you've made it around 0.75, you just want to go ahead and test the race, just like I do here. It should only take a couple of seconds, so you just want to go ahead and test the race. So now once you've finished testing the race, you want to bring up your pause menu, and quickly go over to online and go to choose character. So now you just want to wait until you load it into the choose character menu. Now once you're in the choose character menu, you want to go over to the female character, you want to go ahead and delete the female character, then back out to story mode. So I'll see you guys once I'm in story mode. So now once you load into story mode, you want to bring up your pause menu, go over to online, then play GT online, then go over to invite only session, and then just start the invite only session. If you don't want to start the invite only session, you can just go into a, a public lobby. I just went into invite only session. So now you just want to wait until you load into GT online. Now once you load into GT online, you just want to make your way over to your wardrobe in your apartment, then just save your outfit. And you should see when you go to save your outfit, you have all of the components for the modded outfits. If you don't, then you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to go ahead and do the um, transfer glitch again, like the whole step, like making a few more cards, all that. So as you guys can see, you have all of the components. So you just want to go ahead and save your main outfit inside the last slot, so it doesn't get in the way of the modern outfits. And once you saved it, you want to go over to the deadline outfits and equip the deadline red outfit. So we will be merging the red deadline top over to the first outfit. So you want to go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, go down to verses, and then start crooked cop. So now you just want to wait until you load into Crooked Cop. So now once you load into Crooked Cop, you want to go down to clothing and set it onto player owned. Then you want to go and confirm settings and then just wait for someone to join. You can get like a friend or just wait for a random person to join. So then once you've got, you got someone to join, you want to go and press play to start the job up and wait until you load in. So now once you've loaded in, you should see you spawn with your deadline outfit. Then you want to press right on the d-pad twice and you guys should see the modded outfit, so the black joggers red racing gloves, the cop belt and the tron top so now you just want to go ahead and wait till you load into the mission so now once you load into the mission you just want to wait until you can move around now once you can move around you want to bring up the interaction menu now once you bring up the interaction menu you go to style, accessories and equip a rebreather or an earpiece and just quit the job using your phone so you will have to do this a couple of times guys this is quite repetitive so you just want to wait until you load back into GTA Online so now once you load into GT Online, you just want to make your way over to the front of the ammunition store because you should spawn like around the corner from an ammunition store. So you just want to make your way over to the front of the store. Now you can just go inside and save the outfit. So now once you save the outfit, you can just like save it above your main outfit. So you also want to make sure you delete the two components, but I accidentally didn't delete them here, but you want to make sure you delete the components for the Tron outfit because otherwise they'll get in the way of merging the next outfit. So for the next outfit, you want to go to the racing jerseys and equip the Viper Motocross, which should be number 17. 
So it should be the very last one on racing jerseys. So you just want to go and equip that. And I just want to make sure you delete the two components. So I forgot to at the start, but yeah, you want to make sure you delete the two components as I did there. Now you want to go and start cooking up again. So you want to go to play job, books like Craig, go down to verses, and then just start it up. So now once you start it up, you want to change the clothing onto player owned, and then just start the job and make sure you like wait till your friend has joined or just get a random person to join. So it might take a little while for a random person to join, but I recommend you getting your friend to join. So now once you've loaded into the mission, you just want to wait until you load in. You want to scroll right on the D-pad twice once again. So now you should see this Galaxy modded outfit with the checkerboard trousers and the racing gloves and the cop belt again. So now you just want to go ahead and wait until you load into the mission. So now once you load into the mission, you want to go ahead and bring up your interaction menu again. And then just equip a rebreather by going to start accessories. Or it can be an earpiece, it's completely up to you. Then you just want to go ahead and quit a job using your phone again. So now you just want to wait until you load it into GTA Online. So it should only take a few seconds. So now once you load in, you want to make your way over to the front of the ammunition store. So if there's not a car, then you just want to run to the front. If there's a car, then I recommend just taking the car and then driving over to the front of the store. So now you can go ahead and save this outfit under like the other outfit um, that you just saved, so the Tron outfit. Then you can go ahead and delete the two components for the outfit. So now once you delete the two components, you want to go over to the biker suits. You want to go ahead and equip the black biker suit. So now once you've equipped the black biker suit, you want to bring up your pause menu. And you want to go ahead and start up Cricket Cop again. So now once you start up Cricket Cop again, you want to wait until you load into the Cricket Cop. So now once you load into Cricket Cop, you want to put the clothing on player owned and then just start the mission up. So just wait for a person to join again. So now once someone's joined, you just want to start up and wait to load in. So now once you load in, you want to press run and D-pad twice again. And then just ready up. So you should see this mod checkerboard outfit with the invisible arms, the black racing gloves, and the black cop belt with the checkerboard hat and glasses as well. So now once you load in, you want to bring up interaction menu, go to style, accessories, and equip an earpiece this time. Make sure you do equip an earpiece, not a rebreather, because if you equip a rebreather, it will get rid of the checkerboard glasses. So now you just want to equip the job using your phone again. So now once you load back into GTA Online, you can just go ahead and save the outfit. So if you want, you can save your ammunition store, but I recommend going to a clothing store because you will need to go to a clothing store to equip the components to merge. But yeah, I'm sure I'll make my way to the ammunition store. Then save the outfit, then you want to go ahead and delete the two components again. So I said you forgot to delete the two components. So now you just want to go ahead and delete the two components. So now once you delete the two components, you want to make your way over to any clothes store. So there should be a suburban just around the corner. So you want to make your way over to that suburban store. So now once you're at the Suburban store, you want to make your way over to the top section. You want to go to the racing jerseys. I accidentally pressed the wrong button here, but you want to scroll down to the racing jerseys. Now once you're at the racing jerseys, you want to go ahead to number 2, so it should be the very first one. Which is Pump Motocross, so it should be this orange motocross top here. So now once you've equipped that, you want to go over to the pants section. I accidentally pressed the wrong button again. You want to go to the pants section. Now you want to go to utility pants and equip the black highs pants. So this will merge over the black joggers and the racing gloves. So now once you've equipped these two, you want to bring up your pause menu, go to play job box like created, go down to verses and start cricket cop once again. So now once you start that cricket cop, just want to wait until you load into it and then change the clothing to play owned again. Then just start it up with someone to join. So this time I got my friend to join. So now you just want to wait until you load into the mission. So now once you load into the mission, you want to press Rhino D-pad twice. And you should see some of the outfit here. So it should be the invisible body with the orange trash top, the racing gloves, and the black joggers. So it also has invisible arms as well. So now you just want to wait until you load into the mission. And this outfit also does have the Tron shoes as well. So now once you're in the mission, you want to go to Star Accessories and equip a rebreather. And you can just quit the job using your phone. So now once you load it back into GTA Online, you can just make your way over to the clothes store again. Or not the clothes store, through the ammunition store, and you can go ahead and save this outfit above the other few modded outfits. Now you can go ahead and delete the two components for the trash top outfit. So now for the last outfit, which is the red Gorka joggers, you want to go over to Gorka suits and go down to number 18. Now once you're at number 18, you want to equip this red Gorka suit. So now once you've equipped that, you want to bring up a pause menu, go over to online and start quick cop once again. 
So now once you start a quick cop, you want to change the clothing over to player owned and just confirm the settings and then wait for someone to join again. I've got my friend to join again. So now once you've loaded in, you want to launch the session, so start the job. Now you want to scroll um, right on your d-pad three times and you should see this invisible body outfit with the cop belt, the black and red racing gloves and the Gorka joggers. So now you just want to go ahead and start the mission up. So now once you load into the mission, you want to bring up the interaction menu, go to style, accessories and equip the reboot bar and earpiece again, then just quit the job using your phone. So now you just want to wait until you load back into GTA Online. So now once you load back into GTA Online, you should see you have the outfit on, you can just go ahead and save it. So that's the end of the video, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys do like these 5 minute outfits, please make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below. And also leave a like if you want to see more multiple minute outfit videos just like these. And subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my content. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. It's been, it's been your boy Perks. And I'll see you in my next video. And peace.